just about to fly out of Hobart. Wow. This will be my last time in Hobart for at least eight to ten months. And there's Seven Mile Beach in Frederick Henry Bay. This is where I race uh, the Apprentice, the Paper Tiger. And I'll certainly be missing that. Look how beautiful that bay is. Look at that scenery. We have some of the most beautiful beaches, I would argue, anywhere in the world. Look at that. All those little beautiful little bays are perfect. Bodie's paradise. Cruising paradise. I can't wait to explore it on Monastrell when I get it back. That'll be awesome. This is one of my favourite things is, uh, is descending through the clouds. How awesome is that? So the pilot would be announcing now that we're descending into Melbourne. Just a short stop over here and then on to Doha in Qatar. This is uh, still one of my nervous times. I'm not quite as bad as I once was but it still makes me a little bit nervous, the landing. And we're here in Melbourne. We landed safely. First one ticked off the list. Now I can't remember exactly where this was, but uh, look at all those container ships. So many. How is this cloud formation? That's one of the best I've seen ever. And here we're coming into Doha. This was pretty specky. I'm not sure what the population is, but it must be pretty big. And it just went on and on and on and on. Pretty nice though, eh? Yeah, there's more of it over there. Might have to trim this one down. So here we are in Qatar, at Doha. Right, here we go. This is the, uh, the last, well, the second to last flight. I think it's the same plane we fly on, but it's a stopover in St. Lucia on the way to Trinidad. So here we go. I'm probably going to be the last on the plane. I've been waiting for this queue to disperse. See you in Trinidad. Okay, just about to leave London. some awesome uh, cloud formations. Look at that, we're getting close now. So this is uh, St. Lucia. I'm not sure what we're looking at exactly there. It could be, uh, yeah, not sure to be honest, but uh, we're getting pretty close. Here we go. So I've sailed up and down this coast a few times and this is the uh, the famous pitons, Gross Piton and Petit Piton. And there's a yacht that's uh, sailing to St Lucia. Look at that, stunning. That's a really, really stunning anchorage to be in. Anchored right in between those two peaks super deep water just amazing if you ever get the chance that's uh, it's well worth a visit one of the highlights of the caribbean here we go another little nervous time not too bad but um, as i said before I do feel a little bit nervous and, a, and an appreciation when we land successfully. Thank you, and a very good afternoon. So it's a short stop over here. Okay, we're just having a changeover of crew and uh, all the, the baggage is being checked and confirmed by the crew to make sure it has an owner, otherwise it gets taken off the plane. So it's interesting that we get to stay on the plane while they're uh, servicing it. About 45 minutes and then we head off to Trinidad. 
Not long now. Wow. Okay, we're all cleaned up and ready to go. We're just about to leave St. Lucia for the final leg to Trinidad. All right. Here we go. 45 minutes apparently to Trinidad. Okay, here we go. Well, here we go. Look at this. After three years, three years, I'm finally back. Whew, I've literally just arrived in the yard, that is. And there she is. Look at that. How's that? Oh, well, there's a ladder there so I can go up and have a look. Wow, wow, wow. It's pretty dark in here, so I'm not sure you can see this, but whew, it's a little bit emotional, actually. Wow, there's going to be a lot of cleaning, a lot of cleaning. And it's so good to be back. Amazing. What did I just do with the keys then? Well, here we go. After three years, I'm finally back on board. You can probably see how dusty she is. But that'll a big chunk of that'll just wash off straight away. And uh Yeah, she's filthy. There's a few holes in the cover. So water has obviously been getting in. But uh oh, See, there's a hole there. But overall, she's not looking too bad, really. Hello, hello. Whew, it's hot, man. It is really hot. Very, very humid. Whew, sweating like a pig. Do pigs sweat? I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, we've got to connect these hoses. Close this uh, 
close this up. It's going to be messy. Oh, we've got to close that one. Okay, let's go. Let's try that again. Close this, close this. Nice. There's a lot of shit here. It should work. And turn on the tap. Oops. I was supposed to turn that off. And look at that. Yeah. Can you see that? Most of that is just washing straight off. This will get rid of most of it. Or the worst of it, I should say. Those ropes are slimy. Have to give them a soak. I don't know, maybe some bleach, what do you reckon? Forgive me for the amount of water that I'm using. I don't like it. It's been such a waste, but it's the only way to do it. You can't use a pressure washer. Oh, this is too harsh on the teeth. Uh, Alright, we'll do a time lapse. Well, good afternoon everybody. I just thought I'd give you a little bit of a look at Monastrel by Drone. And uh, this is the ladder that all of us boaties living on the land have to climb up and down every time we need to do something. Go to the toilet, go shopping, anything. And uh, she's still looking a little bit dirty on the outside, but that won't last for long. I've got some wax covering the hull which should just wash away and it should be nice and shiny underneath. That's the bow thruster. That helps us uh, manoeuvre in tight places in uh, uh, marinas etc. And this is my nicely uh, copper coated keel. I've still got just a tiny bit you can see there at the front to finish off and there's the rudder also being freshly copper coated. She's gonna look good soon. And then this is the Peaks uh, boat yard, marina. And uh, that's the motel I was staying in. I was staying in the bottom left-hand room for three nights. Nice to be back on Monastrel now though. And uh, the views here are awesome. Look at that lush forest in the background. Isn't that cool? This is the first time I've flown the drone over the water. It was a little bit nerve-wracking and actually the battery did run low and uh, it had to come home. But how's this view? For an industrial port it's very, very pretty. I've anchored out there when I first came to Trinidad three years ago and uh, it looks nice today there but far out it can get really rolly in there. And then you have boats because it's such a busy port. Like this one for example. Look at this guy, he's crazy. There's a speed limit here, but you watch him come up to this uh, this catamaran. Look at the wake that he's leaving behind there. That's just nuts. It's pretty common here. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it.